hello guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to add virtual iOS into EVNG community edition and uh, here you can see my EVNG is on the address 192.161.111 and I am logged into my EVNG GUI and I will show you that I don't have the virtual iOS switch as well as the router so I'll show the process uh, uh, where you can add the virtual iOS um, switch as well as router into your EVNG for that you need to go to this link to download the VIOS L2 and the L3 from this uh, link I'll paste this link in the uh, description guys so you need to go to this link and then download and then you need to win a CP into your uh, EVNG and then what you need to do is simply copy this virtual ISO L2 and the virtual ISO L3 this is the L3 this is the L2 drag and drop inside the uh, EVNG file system inside the folder OPT unit lab add on schemo right so the naming should be same like I have shown you in this VIOS L2 then dash then anything and VIOS dash and anything so this is the naming convention how you keep the naming inside the chemo folder so once this is copied we'll go into our EVNG and apply this command so I have copied this command and I am already uh, uh, I've already put it inside my uh, what do you say uh, the EVNG and I'll enter this command once this command is executed I'll go into my EVNG GUI and there I can see I have the router as well as the switch so I'll add two routers in here and I'll add a switch in here just to check the connectivity right so switch is here router is here I'll connect this to this and I'll connect uh, again a port from this to this and then I'll start the devices one after another this and this and I'll wait for my devices to boot up uh, guys if you are uh, console is not opening up by double clicking the devices then you need to install the EVNG client side Windows client side for that you need to go to the EVNG website go to the download section go to the Windows client side and install here you need to download and install these packages this will install Wireshark, Ultra VNC, Putty and all necessary wrappers into your Windows 10 8 whatever you have the version you have okay guys and I'll wait for the devices to boot up and then until then I'll just pause my video so guys the switch is starting up and we'll wait for the routers to also boot up so until then I'll tell you what I'm planning to do is uh, okay I'll tell, let me take my pen okay so what I'm planning to do is I'll, I'll, I'll just keep this uh, uh, what do you say this network segment as uh, oh, what do you say 192 168 uh, so I'll keep this as uh, 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24 and uh, this one is R2 I'll rename this and this one is R1 I'll keep this as dot 1 and I'll keep this as dot 2 I'll create a VLAN 10 here okay and I'll assign these two ports to VLAN 10 right okay so this is the configuration that we will do I'll change this to switch 1 a name and okay guys let's do this then okay I need to go to my uh, console of my switch yeah this one so I'll go to the console uh, it's yet to put up okay enable config t host name should be switch one 
okay then I need to see the interface that is okay so first of all I'll keep VLAN 10 exit interface range I can use the command or I can go to interface range gig 0 0 to 1 okay switchboard mode access switchboard access VLAN 10 VLAN 10 so I'm done with the switch let me go to my routers it's done the router is yet to boot up so until the router is boot up I'll pause my video guys so guys the router uh, routers are up I'll go and enter no to the initial configuration dialog and next is we need to assign the IP address to the uh, gig 00 of both the routers so in R1 I will go and uh, config the host name first of all as R1 and go to interface gig 00 IP address uh, is 192.168.101 uh, and the subnet mask is slash 24 right and then we'll shut <coughs> and 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 I'll see show IP interface brief so I have the uh, this IP address assigned and I'll ping this and it's up and I'll go to router 2 and I'll again uh, configure the host name as R2 and go to interface kick 0 slash 0 IP address would be dot two two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and no shut and I'll go to the show IP interface brief and I'll ping ping this IP right and this will work so now I have to ping from uh, R2 to R1 so I'll ping the address dot one right so if my configurations are working it will go to the switch switch has both the ports configured as access port for VLAN 10 and it will be uh, then switched to the uh, gig 01 from 002 and it will reach router 1 on gig 00 in the same L3 subnet and it should ping uh, the first packets may get dropped because of the ARP let me check my switch configuration again so I'm inside my switch I'll check so interface uh, status and oh what happened the configuration has just gone I don't know okay I'll do this again config T VLAN 10 exit interface uh, range uh, gigabit 0 slash 0 to 1 switch port mode access Switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10 and right. So I'll go to the uh, I, I need to check the status of the interfaces. Are they down or it's a switch by default? The uh, interfaces should be in no shutdown mode, uh, but still, I'll check the interface. They are up and up. Show interface status. If I check, let's see, it's in VLAN 10. Done. Now the router should ping the other router. I'll go to R2 and again ping the same thing. And this time it's successful. So, guys, uh, this is how you uh, like uh, add virtual iOS into your EVNG. And uh, thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And please do comment on what like in my videos and what you don't like and what would you what would you like to see in future i will try to add uh, record those videos and add to my channel thanks thank you bye bye